Rumors are something else in the LEGO Star Wars community. It seems like fans will take the smallest amount of information, like an item number, a price point, and declare one thing that set has to be, and get upset when it inevitably isn't that set. Remember what happened last time? In all seriousness, this was one of the few times where a rumor seemed very well supported. When a general Grievous' Starfighter was leaked in 2020, it was extremely fair to assume that a Phase 2 Commander Cody would come in that set. Then LEGO fooled all you guys and dumped an army builder trooper in a non-army builder set. I remember how cheated everyone felt when this didn't happen. Sure, it's not like LEGO promised it, but it just felt wrong to do to everyone. Then that lone figure ended up coming out in one of the best Star Wars sets of all time. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this, when was the last time LEGO did something like this? Released a highly desirable and asked for figure in a highly asked for and desirable set. I honestly can't think of another time this happened. I haven't seen the fans rejoice this much since the first 501st Battle Pack was announced. They didn't have to go this hard, they could have just given us a new ATT and everyone would have been happy, but no, they went all out and gave us some amazing figures with it too. See, that's what's really important to me for a LEGO set. I want to like both the figures and the build, because I think buying an expensive set for the figures is, well, stupid. This is objectively the best ATTE to date. Along with the build itself, you get five clone troopers, three battle droids, and a little spider droid. If I haven't made it clear enough already, the clones in this set are great. Commander Cody looks fantastic, the prints on him are great, he has his own unique face print accurate to him, and he has to be one of the best looking clones we've ever gotten. The three 212 troopers you get also look really nice. They have some really nice printing on them, and it's nice that we get this many in this set. I'm happy they didn't just give us one or two of them. The clone gunner is a nice upgrade from the 2017 one. He's got some really nice prints, he's got a pauldron printed on right here, and he really completes the crew of this set. I'm happy he's here. These clones are also the first of the new design to get a real worn look to them. Both the 212 troopers and the gunner have all these scuffs all over their armor, and it came out great. I hope they do this to more clones in the future. The spider droid is also a really nice side build, and is a welcomed inclusion. Now onto the main course, the ATTE itself. Like I said in the intro, this ATTE is objectively the best one we've ever had, and improves upon things from the older models. I think LEGO really nailed it with this one. Along with it being a satisfying build to put together, it looks absolutely fantastic in person once you've got it all put together. The front cockpit slides out for easy access to stick a clone in the driver's seat. I like how the whole thing is one assembly compared to older models of this set. The clone also looks really nice sitting in there. The top turret is nicely sized and can be rotated. There's a spot for the gunner too. I don't like how they used a tile here for this spot because he falls out very easily when moving the walker around. Speaking of moving the walker around, there's a nice carry handle hidden in the middle so you can pick it up without breaking anything or attach this to a dropship if you have one. The middle leg doesn't have any pressure on it so you can position it in any position to make it look like it's walking. Both the front and rear sections of the walker open up for storage inside. The front section has seating for two and the seats are removable so those of us with bigger hands can get the clones in and out of there. There's also a little storage crate and some other accessories in there. The back of the walker opens up all the way and seats five troopers four passengers and one gunner to operate the rear turrets. The whole thing closes up real nicely and easily, and I love how you can fit a total of seven figures in this walker. At this point, I don't know what else there is to say about this fantastic set. I'm sure most of you who are looking forward to it already have one. I personally don't have any negatives on it either. When comparing this set to its older versions, you're getting the best value for your money here, especially when you compare the older sets with inflation. The build looks great, and the figures are fantastic. All of the praise this set gets is highly deserved. It was a great moment for both Clone Wars and prequel fans and will go down as being one of the best Star Wars sets in the line and one of the best moments in the community's history. This set will remain in my collection for the rest of my days. I'm interested to see what all of you guys think about the build. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you next week in the next video.